Hello and welcome back to the Invincible. No. Let's keep going. Failed. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Oh, it's just Andrew Andrew Bot. Bot. Androbot, guide me to the nearest crew member. Androbot, guide two people. Androbot, locate human. Damn! Ah, Dr. Gorski, have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms? <laughs> Without telling anyone. <laughs> Again. Oh, well... Never mind. Oh, Dr. Crowter. Didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor, is everything all right? Doctor, please, look at me. I report that I've located Dr. Krauter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Temperature normal. Pulse too. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Excuse me. Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. You didn't have it easy. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Testing. One, two, three. Ah, copy, Doctor. Loud and clear. Do I understand correctly that the Doctor's life is not in imminent danger? That's my initial diagnosis, yes. Yet no response to verbal communication? None. Conclusions, Doctor. Up until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any mental disorders. And there are no visible injuries. So I test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane from the atmosphere? No. Methane poisoning causes different symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lambda. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowter. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing. Understood. Hello? A anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowter. The 
It's not a mission log, but it will do. Do Dr. Crowter kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Initial analysis of the samples revealed ni nickel, iron, manganese, beryllium, and titanium in the composition. I would give a lot to understand what it actually is. Quick theory. A giant nickel-iron meteor splashed into the atmosphere on Regis III, melting in surface millions of years ago. No, wait, scratch that. The shape of structures contradicts it. Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. We followed those deposits of metal. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broke. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. All right. Now for the robot. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowter. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Huh. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. What about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Thank you. Alive. Ah, the fish Dr. Gorski caught. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Something. Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. And Lovett? Is his leg still bothering him? Yes, he's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. Uh, Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, and one more thing, Yasta. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. My suit is pinching and cramping just at the mere sight. <laughs> <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate the void. We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a criminal act. Oh, please spare me these lamentations. The only thing I can do is walk along the Dragonfly Corridor. Uh, you're not missing out on anything, Yasna. Crackling suit, big gloves, oh, debris hitting the helmet's glass. <laughs> but the beach is like the one at home, right? Uh, uh, almost. We have to examine the composition of the ocean, not the... Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do the honors? Gladly. 
Koval, where are you going? Over. For a little, um, uh, a quick rest. Distance, 100. I'm gonna take a look around. Base, are you there? A recce. More like a quick ciggy. <laughs> Am I hearing this correctly? Are you going to smoke, Papa? Uh, no. No, not at all. I'm staying dutifully at my station. 500. That me. Am I seeing this right? Dr. Crowther, would you please have a look here? Of course. Just a second. It's like... A school of fish. This is life. What are they doing? They're moving away from us. From us? We're talking about an artificial robotic gizmo. Right from the pole. As soon as I saw it closer to them, do you see what happens? Is it normal, Yatna? What do you think? It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen probes? I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. I catch at least one for examination, then I'll be able to say more. Come here. One more time. Got it. What did you do? I had to electrocute it. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking the specimen ashore. That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, yes, no? <laughs> It indeed is a nice one. I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart that Androbot. A relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. No luck. They're not in here. the extra relay. Excellent. The signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. anything I've ever seen. As if... I don't know. As if an electron bomb had wiped it all out. Is it gonna work? We'll see. I rebooted the systems. That should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Oof. I don't know if the Androbot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes. Unfortunately. Hmm. A positronic brain... Correct readings. Receptors. Hmm. Oh, what? He moved. Finally. Artie should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. <laughs> well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Uh, please check his legs. Hmm. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Gachi, Tim Barton. Uh, 
Thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go find the others while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. Understood. Yes, let's visit the excavation site first. Entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up, or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Got someone. I'm following the signal. on the ground. It's a journal. Geological cross-section? Measurements? These are Merritt's notes. Oh, she must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. We must focus on both. Water chemistry testing and geological drilling. Layers of sedimentary clay inters interspersed with blackish red substance, not ge geological, not planetary, millions of years old at least. Cosmos Solidary Alliance, Interplanetary Commonwealth Headquarters, Space Division, Solar System. Dear Dr. Merritt, this is in response to the latest interplanetary conference. We would like to offer you a promotion in the future expedition Obelisk 03 as an ast astrogator. Your skills and overall performance in previous missions proved to us your readiness to take the next step in the space journey. We would be delighted to receive your response as soon as you are back from your current mission. Sincerely, General Pixel, Commanding Officer, Space Division. A 
think I know where I can find her. Coming from a castle of backpack. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Marit! Marit! Marit, wake up. Wake up. Do you hear me? Dr. Marit? No. No Space vital here. functions. What's going I need on? to. One. Two. Three. Come on. One. Two. Nothing. Don't do this to me, Marit. Don't do it. Please. Come on. Live, damn it. Marit. Doctor. Yasna. No. That's enough. Enough. Oh. Merit. Astrogator. She's. She's. I know. Doctor. Yasna. We have to find the others. Please give me a minute. Of course. Everything will be fine. All fine. Covers next. Yes, I think so. You should be close. Uh -huh. 